We all know it as this liquid that is filled up in the gas tank of our car. But how well do we actually know about this liquid? What I'm going to try to do in this video is explain how does fuel burn, what are the exhaust gases produced, and how these gases cause pollution. Note that all of this is important so that we have a better understanding of what we're actually contributing to the world the next time we start off that engine. Before I answer the three questions, we must first explore the four soaps that the piston of an engine completes. Initially, during the intake soap, the air fuel mixture moves into the cylinder. The piston then moves upwards into the pressure soap, where the air fuel mixture is compressed, causing it to superheat due to rapid increase in pressure. The spark plug that ignites the mixture in the power soap, causing the flame to to begin. Finally, during the exhaust soap, the exhaust valve opens and the products of the combustion are expelled. So, answer the first question lies in the first three soaps where fuel is mixed with air, compressed, and then ignited by the spark plug. Ideally, hydrocarbons in the fuel be oxidized to water and carbon dioxide, while nitrogen in the mixture would pass to unaffected, so there is not actually the case. Besides water vapor and carbon dioxide, other gases are also produced. Hydrocarbons are produced in combustion does not take place at all due to either ignition, fuel delivery, or air induction problems. Carbon monoxide is a byproduct in complete combustion, while high single temperature and pressure causes nitrogen to react with oxygen from various oxides of nitrogen. The production of these gases in stock relieves pollution. Carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas, prevents infected solar radiation from escaping into outer space, trapping it inside the atmosphere and specifically contributes to global warming. Carbon monoxide, on the other hand, poses a danger to human health because it competes with oxygen to bind hemoglobin in the red blood cells, thus reducing transported oxygen to the whole body. Oxygen nitrogen also causes health problems. Nitrogen dioxide, in particular, inflames the lining of the lungs, thus reducing its immunity to infection. Thanks for watching, everyone.